All right. Well, I can't even have the light on, but personally, I actually really like working with glass in the dark. I don't know why, it's just a thing. It's bright, it's crazy. It's, uh, let's see, 6.35 here. That's dark, it's evening. But working in the dark, it's one of the world with glass. I really don't know what I'm gonna make, I guess. So make another marble somewhere. Brian drums, since you like my video so much. Shout out to you. Your videos are awesome. I'm also a drummer. Uh, played drums since about fourth grade. I was in drum line in high school. Played freshman year, they actually weren't allowed to be on the line. So it was on the sideline, like cymbals or whatever. Uh, sophomore year, I played second base. Junior year, I played first base. The senior year, I tried to go on snare, but basically, it just really came down to. There's a guy that really wanted it, and he was kind of like a softy. And if he didn't get on snare that year, he would have. So I ended up playing quads with tenors, which I've never really played before that. And that summer, I just they let me take the quads home, and I was just natural at it. You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, like, our marching band, do we kick butt? And it's just like, the year after I left, I don't know, they were all right, but the year after that, they just, they're, they, I don't know. It's just like, they sucked. But, our band director that everyone loved, like, retired the year after, after I left. Uh, another guy took over and it's just like he just just wasn't there you know St. Almond's High School was my high school yeah I love music dude and uh, I was good at it I'm still good at it Every once in a while, I pull out a practice pad and just, you know, hit some notes, but I can play drum set too. I played drum set for uh, show choir. I'm not as good as you, probably. I mean, I'm pretty good, but. Yeah, dude, you got good videos. I watch them. I'm subscribed. Subscriber. Actually, I thought I was su subscribed. And I looked at your channel and I was like, what? I didn't. And I subscribed today. But I'm subscribed. So. <clears throat> I enjoy your videos. I watch them daily. It's about whenever I have time. A lot going on here. Like today, today was a busy day after I left, like, for making my videos earlier. You know what? Let's do pink and orange. Pink and red. Let's do, let's do pink and pink. Pink <coughs> and orange. All right. So I got my gather ball. 
like I said, dude, working with the glass and the light, it's just, you can see so much better on what you're doing. That's why I like it. The only thing you're seeing is this, the glass. Like I said, I'll, I can probably try to like rig it up, but or have those other Dardanian glasses. I could probably like try to like just set it right in front of my camera or something, but that way you can see what I'm doing. Because if I look, this is like in the camera, all I see is just like a blue flame and orange. Come on, go down. I'm running out of stringer, so this is starting to get hard to work with. So I'm gonna have to, come on now. Jeez. Let me show you why a stringer is very important. See how that one's normal, normal. Now when I was working with this real thick, it's inconsistent. The reason why is I ran out of stringer. So uh, this one I might run out too. I don't know. We're about to see. I'm about to find out. This is, uh, this is the orange. It's making my stripes. And all the stripes I need. One more. Now you can do any type of variation. Like I've, I've, added, I've made marbles where I've just added two stripes and just kind of twisted like a little yin and yang. Those are cool. But and then you can do three colors. You can do you know four colors. like so far oh I'm in landscape because my phone's charging because I just got back from being out with the family we went took the kids to build a bear that was fun each one of them got a build a bear and we went out to eat at the mall I got Chinese every one of us got something different it's fun then I took my son to GameStop and he grabbed some type of, I don't know, goblin thing or something, I don't know. But you can like put your hand in it and move its mouth and you can move its eyes and stuff. Honestly, it really reminds me of one of the little goblin things off of like the labyrinth. It's say the magic words. one of my favorite movies. It's that and the never ending story. You can't beat them. Take a drink of my energy drink here.
So, let me explain this to you. See how it's still kind of bumpy? You want to keep going. But if you go too far, well, I'm never really taking it too far, I guess. I don't know. Like, you can tell when you think you've gone enough to the point where you can add your clear, your clear glass to keep going. Now, when it comes to your all those crazy big marbles, one, I can't make them because I don't have a kiln. It requires, a, if I were to make one that big, which I've tried, by the way, and I, I let it sit in one of my little marble molds, and about five minutes later, I come back and it was split in half. That's cool. So, if I decide to spend maybe about for mountain glass, I found a kiln. It's basically this is something that gets real hot, and you just a piece that you just made, you just put it in there. It's got like this special type of matting, and you just put it in there basically, and it's just it it, it it's about anywhere. Hey, Nine to twelve hundred degrees or so, and it just slowly cools down until until it's room temperature. You just put it in there and you let it do its thing. And the bigger pieces, when they, you know, it's glass. The hot, the outside, it's cooling down, and then the inside is still hot. And it's just it shocks it, cracks. You know, it's just. It, with smaller pieces like this, this is strong glass. It's boris oak that has, I can't remember what it's called, like a shock rating pretty much. And the shock rating is high, you know, it's low with this. And with soft glass, like my other soft glass, like if I were, my soft glass, if I were to put in my torture now, it just literally just blows up. It's just, it can't take the shock from heating up from cold to hot. This, you can just put it in, like right there, look. Nothing. But another thing you can do is when I first started is I had uh, soft glass, colored glass, and I was trying to use it with my borosilicate clear rods, and I hadn't gotten borosilicate colored glass yet, and they don't mix. They do not mix. You cannot use. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, I don't know, it's basically a shock rating. And like I would do what I'm doing now, instead of, this is Boro, so this is Boro. And I have like the other stuff and I was trying to do what I'm like, what I'm doing now and I would have it wrapped and clear and done and I would let it sit and it would just, and it would just, it just would fall apart. I'm like, well, that sucks. <laughs> Let me get my, uh, now we're doing the clear wrapping. Yeah, dude, since like you're like my only watcher, commenter, Brian drums. I do, I love the drums. I'm good at drums. Uh, one thing I like to do is here we go. Just pull my practice pad out up a video on YouTube of like some music, you know, improv, just start jamming out. I can play piano a little bit. I can't read music for it, but I can read like drum music. I can read rhythm, like one and a two and a one and two, three, you know, one lolly, two lolly, one and two and a three and four and one. All that, you know, it's cake. But 
one point, I played a little, little bit of trumpet. That's actually the what I, for a freshman or a line on the line, that's the instrument I picked up was trumpet. Hated it. <laughs> Oops. Hated it. Couldn't stand it. I mean, like I had fun because I was in band and stuff, but I'm a band geek at heart. Total nerd. Gamer. Uh, I've been getting into Skyrim again recently. I just started the Dawn Guard. Quest line again. <laughs> you know, and I was trying to go through as a Dawn Guard. You know what I ended up becoming? A vampire. If you don't become a vampire lord, you are my enemy. And then you got Serana. Whatever. I need to fill in that little gap right there. Alright, there we go. Fill that in. I missed a spot. It's alright, we can fix it. Alright, yep. Part done. <clears throat> Melt down the clear lines. As far as uh, doing anything with music now, I'm not, unfortunately. But see, I had a Ludwig drum set, and I ended up losing it for. <laughs> Basically, I got involved with the wrong people, and I ended up going down the wrong road for about 10 years of my life, and blues and everything. But. Doing good now. I'm about going on four years clean. Um, yeah, was, so, uh, the only thing I can do now as far as drumming is you know, find a good drummer and watch his stuff. Or, Play along with my drum pad, my practice pad. Uh. Dang, I've been at this for it was like six thirty five when I started. Time to seven o'clock. <laughs> now we're doing the twist, so we're getting that hot. I'm gonna twist it.
close to us. Hold on a second. Give me about 20 seconds. down a little bit. Take it back up. Sorry if the baby is too much. I like to I like to like practice O's and all that stuff and do all the fancy like blow a big O and then like with the jellyfish and blow another hit into it, make a jellyfish and basically what I'm doing here is just I can do it here, but this this is more stable here. And you can get something that kinda looks like that thing I, I scored the glass with. It's got the wheels on it, and you can put your glass in there and just roll it. But I kind of just like the natural feel of, you know, uh, that's our twist. And we went with pink and orange on this one. See how it turns out. Oh, you can see my thing. This thing I was talking about in my last video my, with my water in it. And all my scrap, it's, it's just like a Maxwell House thing, about half full of water. I have my, <clears throat> my scrap tray there too, but you, you can just let it build up in here as well. And glass doesn't rust or anything, so you can just let it build up and just pull it out and use it later. too hot either you get too hot it's just gonna like it's just you don't want to like force it in there either just set it in there just let the weight of the rod do it and here's your first half and kind of attach your punty Flame cut is just basically you just well I guess it's self explained so where's my tongs? I guess I need to pull those out. <sighs> Alright. You're about to hear a good sizzle and I'm about to put some glass in that water. No, 
another thing, these tongs, you can't really see it right now, have grip, like little serrations right there at the end. I do not use those when I'm grabbing glass. That's why, you, in case you're wondering why I grab them like halfway down, it's because I'm not using that. Every single time I have used the part with the serrations, it has gotten stuck to the tongs. And that's so aggravating. You're sitting there like trying to get it off and got all this going on. So I just, I don't do it anymore. It's just not worth it. Like I just, <clears throat> and those, those came with my torch. got three sets of tongs, small ones, medium size, and long, real long ones. I got this thing to hold my rods, uh, the torch, I got the hoses. Yeah, dude. It's pretty much round. I'll either make some more glass filters or much of it after this. Maybe have some little talk, some talking time. That's pretty much that one. Orange and pink.